Thank you so much for watching Tomohita Music. I would like to show you simple walking baseline. I teach this a lot at Berkeley, and um, it's fun to do. The first thing, definitely you have to understand the blues chord progression, so you can play solo over too. So that um, I use a really simple chord form like this: root, flat seven, and third for B flat. Okay. So like you need to know the two forms first, and uh, regular one. You can play like a big one like this, but uh, you know um, this is really simple. You see, <laughs> root flat seven and major third. So you play sixth string, fourth, and a third, and then E flat in a four chord like this. You got that root major third flat seven. All right. So the first one you really have to work on definitely one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, three, four, uh, one, two, three. So you can go one goes to four, right? So now the first step you have to go. So you have to play four beats to go to um, four chord, right? So like one. Two, three, chromatic, and then four chord, and then instead of going major third on a, you know, uh, go up, go down. G is a third, you know, and then chromatic into B flat. So technically, you play triads really: root, major third, fifth, chromatic, root, and a third. So slowly, and then I use like this. Uh, I have to show you this trick too. Um, I use pick. So when I play a single note, then you see like that, right? Right. Okay. So I, I hold it like that, and then I do like this. One more time. A one, two, three, four. A dum 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 pa 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 pa. Da 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 do da do da. So you see. A one more time. Huh. All right. It's kind of hard to do it, but so I hold a pick between two finger, like a smoker cigarette, you know, and then um, and I play all down picking for the bass. Then I use these two fingers, pluck the chord, which is a seven and third. So I go one and two, three, 
four, one, and two, three, four, one. That's the first, you know, idea. Right? You get? Yes. Try that. Very good. Okay. Yes, slow. Now sometimes combination you can do up, you know, up beat like one and two, three, four, one and two, three, four, one. That's great too. But also sometimes one downbeat I play together. One, two, three, four, one. I'm sorry. One, two, three, four, one, two. Three, four, one. So the difference is up. Right? <laughs> Just get that tone so good. Oops. What's going on? What's going on? Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> That's so called bar variations. You have a uh, several choices. Usually, you going up, you can going down, right? Going upstairs, going downstairs. You have to go on down, right? So, so this one going up, but going up with one, three, five, right? Then. It's a really good tone, yeah. And then, then that's the one. Then what happens is sometimes I go walk second note, chromatic, major third, and then go to the next one. So yeah. Then this one I use pinky. So now, difference is I play a little chord, a ninth chord, but or or you're very advanced, like the triplets. Ta 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 ta. ta. Then. It's kind of same line, same line, but it's... so that's like a first step. You have to really go one goes one one four group, okay? So now after that, you go simple. One. Now here, like that. So this case, I want to play one four one one, four four one one, five four one five. So basically. First, you have to get one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You have to have that. Two bar. And four. Nice. Back to one. And keep going like that for a while, you know? Five, four, and one. Go to five. So I go one. Four and one, one, one for one, and one for one, one, four, four, back to one, and five, and four, and one, like that. Okay, so now this line. You got the first part. Now, next one, two major you have to play. So I do like this. One, so like, typical bass line. I shouldn't really play, you know, bass line fourth string, but this one, it's nice to know, you know. So I, don't, I, I usually stay on sixth and fifth string, but 
but try that like that so basically one three five six plus seven which is that if I do that one 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 you know <laughs> right now if I play I can play the same thing but then gets really thin on the top now so sometimes E, e flat like this you can go down to third but going down so instead of a G I go to like like that so that five six plus seven so like that's how I learned uh, a lot of different key sometimes going up motion sounds great going down motion sounds great so like key of you know e e e flat d sounds nice going down even c you know so like that nice then fingering you have to be creative you don't want to go too uh, strict about the fingering but certain way it's important you know for example like a major scale when you learn first you want to learn in position everything stay in position that way you have more foundation basic idea of a fingering then you are um, like you know adding more idea or between you know two fingerings you know so that way basically you have a strong foundation then you have choices after that that means you can expand the idea and more and more but if you learn bunch of a piece like a three notes per string like that the problem is you can't really organize fingerboard you know because you, this is a harmony this is a campus so this is this is a place you can really paint your own music and when you paint you have to really understand where's your brushes where's your colors that's the intervals intervals is really important pitch so if i hear i have to hear one three going on And I have to say, this is a completely different thing, but I bought this guitar from Rumble Seat Music in Nashville. And um, yeah, I bought it. Why not? I'm a professional guitar player, so I should buy it, right? So, um, but the funny part is I have a same guitar, same guitar that just like this, looks like this, but watch this one. This is 1967 original and 335 and um those tailpiece and this one um can you see the, the bridge this saddle is plastic you know like a nylon yeah and then these pegs you know all original right and um so like i have a 67 i had just like this when i bought it but I think came from maybe California or somewhere so that these pegs were really shrinked almost br almost break breaking down and then these you know nylon saddle was really beat up really shrinking you know so I had to change this and that then of course I love Larry Carlton so I had to do the stop tailpiece and very far away just like Larry Carlton and that guitar is so special so special but when i saw this one that does like one of like you know decision wow well, you know i have a lot of guitars i don't need that but sometime there is one chance you have to do it so i had to decide and then uh rumble seed music was really nice that if i don't like it i ship back no question and packed so well, just like a jewelry, you know, put a lot of papers and everything. And then um, conversation was amazing. It just, so anyway, and a lot of people ask me, what's the difference between my other guitar and this one? This is a slightly mellow in the top end. So you, when I, I can hear that every note and then sustain, it's just amazing, this one. It's, it's like almost like a, uh, every attack has a compression 
Original Fred. Already going to different subject. Sorry about that. So anyway, I completely forgot what I was doing. Oh yeah, walking bass line. So like that. So now, so you have to really work on this pattern, you know, right? Now. This is tricky. I have to jump one first finger, then pinky, because this way it's just cleaner. Now, here, sometimes I go like that. First finger, probably better. Now turn around, like this, kind of difficult. Now one, then chromatic. You got that? So you know you can slow down this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So practice that one. Then, then beginning, what I did was um, I put the metronome around. Let's see. Um, okay, sixty-three. Very easy. I like simple stuff. Just one note. One note. Ha! Ah. I love it. So listen to this beat. Okay, great. Thank you. I think I should do a little bit more better, than, you know, placing stuff. Okay, here you go. A one, two, a one, two, kind of fast. Very important, you know, move your body. And usually, um, I make assignments sometimes, you know, play this and then sing melody and stuff. Ta 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 Ta, ta, ta. <laughs> Hopefully, but. So yeah, you have to make effort. And so sometimes people ask me, how long should I practice? That's a good question. But usually when people concern how long, these people don't really concern how to, what to look out for. Because like a quantity, I don't really care about quantity because I just care about more details. So like even like, you know, three minutes one minute has to be really concentrated and then really has to be um productive you know so yeah it's like a good point how long but how to practice is really important okay so that's why be creative also make more slight effort so that 
so now you can play walking bass line, then maybe da 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 single melody against bass line, which is difficult. So like for example, uh, when I jam with Paul Jackson, Paul Jackson um, from Headhunters, and then he sings a funky tune, play bass line to play funky tune, then I was playing, you know, kind of funky groove. That's when I know that, whoa, I have to do, make effort. So this is how after that session, I start making effort to that play bass line and I start sing melody or sing something. Then that's how I can go to his level. Otherwise, I'm just playing good guitar player. That's not good enough for me. I have to make effort, right? So same way when you look at other people, instead of a, you know, jealousy or, a, oh, wow, you know, but you have to go, okay, okay. Why not? You know, you have to just, you can take it, you know, uh, do things right away, but at least you can, um, yeah, respect, admire people, and then kindly you borrow the idea into your playing, then you make more effort. Nihongo de ittara, kufu desu ne, kufu shinai to, zetta dame desu ne, kufu desu yo, doroki yo mo. So, something like that, okay? <laughs> so, I hope you enjoy my guitar lesson here at the YouTube channel. So please subscribe to Tomofujita Music and I think you're gonna learn more and more and I'm so excited to make more lessons. But also, I have my own website and Tomo Just Funky and um, I have a lesson site also. This, this uh, links, you know, right here on the very end of a video and called Guitar Wisdom. That's where I use more cameras and more close-up and more details of a walking bass line, phrasing, funk, triplets, everything there. So I'm so happy to really um, communicate with the people and, you know, through music, through listen. And um, that's amazing. You know, people from 80 different country, a lot of people studying guitar wisdom. So why not you you join too it's not you know not too much um, price too it's on 9.99 a month subscription so get there learn more all right thank you so much for watching tomorrow fujita music see you soon thank you